is associated with the question is always associated with the question that why you want to become a cabin crew right so when i wanted to become a cabin crew i had that great zeal and passion to be one then i whatever i did to become a cabin crew was actually uh, you know to improve uh, or to go to that level let's say so if if i joined something that was to enhance my skill if i join a job that is again so that i can learn more about travel industry so if you have that kind of passion and that kind of zeal in you to become a cabin crew so this the this presentation is going to help you next so there are some prerequisites that uh, is required that is actually uh, crucial to become a cabin crew first one is a cabin crew should be 18 years plus for domestic airlines and 21 years plus for international airlines so mostly uh, all the airlines that we have in india like indigo spicejet go air air india and uh, as per the recent news jet airways is coming back hopefully soon uh, and then star air i guess is a regional airline so they have this prerequisite in uh, for a cabin crew that he or she should be 18 years plus right so if you were not then you need to grow up a little and then you can go ahead and for most in, most of the international airlines their requirement are 21 years and plus so they have their so whenever you are appearing for any interview you just need to check their requirements what they are asking for right but this is the idea that i'm giving it to you for an national airline and for domestic airlines next aspirant should have passed 10 plus 2 from a government recognized board or university again in your hands you have to complete your 10 plus 2 to go for any other course that uh, that is uh, important or let's say that is required to become a captain again the high criteria again i'm giving you an idea for domestic airline it is 157 cm but whenever you're going for an interview you need to check their requirements what what all things they are asking for they always mention their high criteria in the requirement list and 160 cm for most of the international airlines as i was the part of qatar airways so they have this requirement they had this requirement too and why do they have this high criteria requirement is not because the taller the beautiful no they have a specific reason that that actually uh, required to fulfill this criteria and that is Uh, as Majibin clearly mentioned and rightly mentioned, the safety procedures. That is absolutely uh, there. You need to uh, face. You will. You will actually face a lot of emergency emergency situation. <clears throat> Excuse me, emergency situation. So, if you want to reach uh, equipment that Majibin showed in one of her slide, which is actually uh, an overhead bin, you cannot step. on to anything to reach there right so that's why they have you know particular high criteria to to uh, be met next essentials so essentials as in you should have it but just in case if you think you need need a little bit of improvement or there is a uh, scope of improvement you can always enhance this these skills in you so one of them is english must be able to read write and speak in english and hindi hindi is actually uh, required for all the indian airlines right english as you know is a global language and for all the international airlines you should know how to converse in english all airlines require fluency in english you must have a good level of english to be able to pass the interview of course your interview will be uh, will uh, will actually you will give the interview in english language only there would not be any other language for any other airline trust me and then again your your training that will be provided by the airline will be in english only and in, in addition to that we have few requirements as well which is no tattoos inside that's a part of professionalism right so there are certain airlines that would actually i would say most of the airlines that would uh, actually ask for this requirement that no tattoos inside inside 
and what does that mean so if you are wearing like in the slide a cabin crew is wearing a skirt so she shouldn't have any tattoo you know on this scarf area which is visible because then it will not be professional you know and then good health you will need to go through medical tests that's for sure you need to have a good health you need to be healthy to take care of the customers right they are not passengers they will be your customers you need to take care of them so there is a saying which says you cannot pour from an empty cup it just doesn't go mentally it goes also physically but right? if you are not healthy how would you be able to take care of all the passengers on both the aircraft in any situation any emergency or any situation right and you yourself have to lift the exits you you yourself have to uh, you know close and open the doors for that you need really good health then some qualities a cabin crew should possess or i think every individual should possess and i and i know all of us we have it we just need to figure it out right we somewhere we have it we have these qualities in us we just need to find them and we will like i as an instructor let's say or anybody else who is instructor will actually help you find these qualities in you you will find them you will you will you know uh, you will take them out with time so first is positive attitude so not just in aviation you need to have this everywhere you're working like everywhere you are if you are in a corporate or any industry let's say you should have this but it plays a very important role in aviation industry if you are a cabin crew if you are ground staff or anything so positive attitude simply means positive thinking and positive thinking will help you see recognize and grab the opportunity right next patience you really really trust me you need to have a lot of patience if you are in aviation industry not just with the passengers of course they they are don't think they are they could they're going to be bad or something you know no they are not like that you just need to be patient with everybody with your customers with your colleagues with your team work workers and then you need to be patient with me as well if if i'm your trainer you need to be patient with me also right so that's a very important quality a cabin crew should have assertive so assertive means you just whatever you are saying you need to be confident in that so there would be uh, there there would be times on board the aircraft when you will guide the guide the uh, customers because they don't know abc of the aircraft some of them of course they are frequent flyers they may know about few things but you are the one who gonna make them aware of everything and if they don't listen to you i'm not asking you to be aggressive you just need to take care of your tone and you just need to be assertive you need to tell them whatever you're saying with full of confidence and there is a very thin line between being assertive and being aggressive we don't have to be aggressive over here right next professionalism and responsibility professionalism again a very very crucial part of the airline why because whenever you are walking let's say at the airport or you are coming back from the airport to your place you will be wearing your airline's uniform people will not know you by your name they will just say this this is or he or she is for example qatar airways cabin crew or vistara's cabin crew so you need to maintain that professionalism just not on board but whenever you are in your uniform and responsibility yes it will come uh like whenever you go on board the aircraft mezzanine has mentioned a lot of responsibilities that you will face and you will have to do every day right or because that is wholly and solely a uh, cabin crew's responsibility to taking care of passenger seats lavatory galley equipments so on and so forth captains everybody flight deck as well right flight deck is cockpit then empathy empathy is a very important part for customer service skill right we always say just you know uh, step in into a customer shoes 
you know feel how they are feeling it is difficult sometimes it is difficult because something that hasn't happened to you you would not be able to feel it right so empathizing something you actually tell them that you know what they are talking about you you are feeling them so you need to make uh, make them aware about you they don't know you have to tell them that it will be taken care of because i know what you are talking about customer service skills again same thing customer service you need to uh, provide good service let's say five star service on board you should have the skills you know there would be there will be customers on board uh, make it upset for let's say no reason maybe just just because of a meal you should have this and we will teach you this if if you know if you don't know anything about it or if you don't know how if you if you think how i'm going to uh face this kind of customer this is what we're going to teach you in the training and trust me you will be confident after passing on the training eagerness to learn you should be willing you should be eager you have you should have that zeal to learn your training will not be a piece of cake for sure cabin crew training in the airline is just not a piece of cake you actually should have that eagerness in you that you want to learn right active listening goes hand in hand with customer service skills and empathy because you like how will you provide a resolution or solution when you don't know what a customer is talking about you, you don't you will not hear you will listen to them and again there's a very thin line between hearing and listening you will have to pay attention to their problem so that you can provide the correct resolution next is tips to to help you pass the interview so before joining any airline you need to go through this very very important very crucial step which is the interview right as i told you whenever you're going for the interview please please read all the requirements that they are looking for right because you don't want to be someone sitting in front of them and they are asking you a question about this and you are blank right we we will never want to be any of us in that particular position practice if you think you need practice in anything a language or a skill or anything let's say a group discussion practice right we are here to help you in that we will take care of it everything will be taken care of you just i'm just telling you whatever is required strive to become better again you you should have that eagerness to become better it's okay if you don't crack an interview in one go it's absolutely fine It happen to a lot of people right but then we just need to learn go ahead and then we need to be better than before whatever we whatever mistake that we have done in the past it's done what's bygone is bygone right research research on the airline find out they may ask you a few questions about the airline always research where, wherever you are going for the interview and then read instructions carefully keep it simple keep your answers basically simple right focus on the question asked again active listening here you need to focus on the questions that are being asked to you and always plan your answers so as walt disney correctly said the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing so i've told you all the things that you need to be a cabin crew now we will start doing it right i always want my uh, our uh, my uh, uh, presentation or uh, my class to be interactive so if you have any any questions you can always ask if you can if you have it in your mind now you can just throw at me if you later on get any question or any kind